What is going on Guardians and welcome to another Destiny video. Today we're going to be showing you guys where exactly Sir is, if he has anything good or if he has anything bad. We're going to find out right now. want to let you guys know to please don't forget guys that we will be streaming some trials this weekend. So if you guys are looking to get help for Trials of Osiris, don't forget to try to join the Patreon army or just drop by the streams. Make sure your notifications are turned on. So you guys can know when we stream and maybe you guys can enter a raffle. The link is down below. But let's see what Sir has in store for us this time around. And here we go. Here we go. Let's see what Sir has. All right. So we have Legacy Engrams. As you guys know, these are all for old exotics. So if you're trying to get something old, oldies but goodies, Legacy Engrams is the way to go. Then you have the Crest of Alpha Loopy. So a couple of you guys might be missing this one. Uh, but if you are, remember, this gives you the ability to revive your teammates a lot faster. So if you're doing trials and you're probably, you know, like if you're needing help and you're not so good at PvP because you just got the game or whatever, Crest of Alpha Loopy is really good because it, it helps your teammate that you're not only that you're able to revive them faster, but they're also able to revive you really quick. So definitely do pick this up if you're into PvP and stuff like that and, you know, don't know what exotic to use for a specific character. This would probably be one of the best if you guys are not so good at PvP. Next up, the Mask of the Third Man comes uh, with an intellect of 94. By the way, this is intellect 84 and 77. And Mask of the Third Man, I mean, it's not that bad, but it, 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 it's just gone obsolete, man. There's so many other good helmets down for the... Uh, for the 100 class, I mean, it's one of the best looking ones. It reminds me a lot of Splinter Cell. But uh, if you're just a collectionist, pick this one up. If you're not, then you could probably skip it. Next up, we have the Skull of Dar. And this one comes with an intellect of 92. This one's actually a really interesting helmet. Not used so much in uh, PvP or PvE. Uh, you know, there's always like the RAM. Everybody wants to go for that max armor. But this was actually pretty good because I've seen so many people die off their Nova Bomb. So if you, you're having problems dying when using your Nova Bomb, this would probably be a good helmet to pick out. But out of all of these, if you have all three classes and you're trying to figure out which one should I pick up, I would definitely pick up the Crest of Alpha Loopy first, the Dire second, and then the Mask of the Third third. Now the Hard Light. The Hard Light is actually a underappreciated weapon. It's a really good weapon both for PvP and PvE. One of the neatest things about this weapon is that if you shoot uh, like the wall and someone's hiding behind the wall, you're able to actually kill them from behind the wall. So it's actually pretty good because the bullets ricochet. So it's really good at that. Plus, not only that, but the bottom of the magazine of this weapon causes additional damage, which makes it a really interesting one. I would highly recommend it if you've never given this a try. Definitely pick this one up and give it a, a swirl. I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it. Next up, we have the Monte Carlo and Super Spy uh, ornament. And this is actually one of the best ornaments. I like the red one more than the gold one, but... The red one looks really, really cool. Then we have the red dead with the steel witch uh, or orno ornament. Come on now. And uh, that one's actually pretty good. Highly recommend you guys go ahead and pick up some heavy ammo synthesis. Because remember this week's Nightfall. It, not this week's Nightfall. is uh, Vault of Glass. Next week is uh, King's Fall. Usually those tend to use a lot of heavy. So if you're running short on heavy, go ahead, pick those up, and try to get these done. If you don't like none of these and you're like, nah, man, laser, that's not what I want. Go ahead, pick up some three of coins, and make sure you guys pick those up to see if, uh, you know, maybe you get lucky uh, with getting, uh, you know, a different exotic that you might want or anything else. Now, if you are a tier 12 go-getter and you're trying to find out, I and, you know, I really need to get this gear on, on tier 12 because I want to make sure my character is tier 12 no matter if I play PvP or PvE, or there's a specific exotic that you want to be tier 12, make sure to go ahead, pick this up, and to re-roll your gear. So if you don't, if you're new to Destiny and don't know what glass needles do, basically they allow you to re-roll gear. For example, let's say I have this gear right here, right? This Arbiter. Well, that, that's a bad example. Uh, let's say I have these Ruin wings, right? And, it, and it's like, oh man, I don't like these Ruin wings. I don't like the roll it has. Then you could definitely re-roll these. These are the way you're going to use the glass needles for. You see right there, it just needs one glass needle to re-roll, and it pretty much re-rolls the stats that you currently have. On that specific gear, it's only for exotics. So if you're trying to, you know, get a certain exotic to that gear, make sure you do so, and you get you guys should be good. Well, that pretty much wraps around the video for you guys. I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. If you found this video enjoyable and informative, please make sure you guys drop a comment, a like, and don't forget to share with your friends because it does help out the channel a lot. Once again, guys, I will catch you guys on the next video. And for all things Destiny, make sure you keep it locked here, and I will see you later.